welcome to Crafty Clegs. Um, as you can see, coming to you today from the craft room. Um, today is Thursday the 7th of March, I think. No watch on again, so no idea what time it is. Um, you will have to excuse my bedraggled look. I have just this minute got out of the shower. I've not even, well, I have. I've just blasted the hairdryer on my hair. I've not even styled it, so you'll just have to ignore that. Um, today I have had a really busy day. Again, um, lots and lots of sewing. I don't know if you can see, but there's piles of bags he here. Um, that basket there is um, already sold, but there's piles of bags. I've got piles of baskets here to make. It's just been a really, really busy day. Um, have I been anywhere today? What have I done today? Hmm. Oh, I have. I've been out to the local um, Abadashra for thread. I ran out of thread. Um, and while we was out, Tim came with me. And while we was out, we just nipped to the supermarkets to get a few bits. Because I am going, <coughs> excuse me, to Katie's on Saturday morning. And so I'm taking the car because it's just a flying visit. I'm going Saturday morning, coming back Monday morning. Um, I'm not going to get the coach or the train. I'm just taking the car. So I need to make sure Tim has got everything he needs. Right, anyway, that's enough about that. Um, yeah, today, again, I haven't done an awful lot of crafting. This is rubbish for you, isn't it? I mean, it's all right if you want to listen to me just chit-chat on. Um, but I have decided today that things are getting very overwhelming for me, as in the things that I want to make. It's just getting ridiculous. So I've decided I am going to get one of my journals out. Um, I'm a journal maker, if you don't know. I don't make many of them. In fact, I haven't done anything for a good few weeks now. Um, but I've decided that I'm going to get a journal out. And in fact, I'll show you which one I'm going to get. Bear with me. Wait there. You can guess that I have to stride over the dog, can't you? Um, Zach is here with me. I am going to use my Janie Crow one. And I'm going to have to start making lists. Um, because today, and this is what's happened today, we had posts today, I have on my Amazon, I'm sure many of us do, I have a wish list. Now, Tim always buys me a gift for Mother's Day, even though my two children are not his, and even though his two children are not mine, we are just one big happy family. We just, we, it's just like we're a big family. So he always buys me a Mother's Day gift. And because I am away this week, this weekend for Mother's Day, um, my gift came today and he said to me, you can have it if you want. You're not going to be here on Mother's Day, so what's the point? You might as well open it. So this is what tipped me over the edge today, as in, oh my gosh, I want to make everything. I haven't got enough time. I've got that much on the go. I'm going to have to take it in hand, which I'm going to do tomorrow. With your help, I'm hoping. But let me just show you what tipped me over the edge. So he bought me the Knitted Lovies. No, the Knotted Lovies. It's Mama Made Minnie's Knotted Lovies. I have always wanted, well, when I say always, since I've seen this, I've, all, I've wanted it. And I don't know why, because my grandchildren are all grown up. I haven't got any young grandchildren. Um, the only small, small child I know is my friend Karen from Stitches and Jacks. She has a little granddaughter, so I could make her a couple of that out of there. But I just really fancied this. So it had been in my Amazon wish list for a while. Anyway, he got it, me Tim. So I opened it and looked at it and thought, oh, I want to make that. Oh, I want to make that. And I don't know if it's just me as a, a, a crafter and a maker or whether there's a lot of people that are the same. Because I want to make everything, I end up making nothing, if that makes any sense. Because I, I procrastinate that much on, oh, I'll do a bit of this, I'll do a bit of that. I'm not one of those that can just knit or crochet on one thing. I get that. But I can cope with maybe two or three. Um, but I've got all sorts. I've got them in bags here. I've got my Janie Crow blanket. I've got socks that I want to make. I've got bunnies that are half done. I've got teddies that are half done. It's just stressing me out to the max. I've not even cut up the fabric that um, Karen's given me, which is going to be tomorrow's job. I'm not doing any work tomorrow, any sewing for the shop. I am just going to have a day for me, pack a bag, 
and then when I come back next week, I'll get back to work then. That's what I'm thinking. So that's what Tim bought me and I absolutely highly recommend it. It's a lovely book and the cover, it's one of those covers that's, I don't know how to explain it, it's really, really smooth. It's almost like paper velvet, if you like. I don't know, it's like a waxed, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely and it smells. Oh, it smells delicious. I always smell new books. I love the smell of freshly printed paper. Do you think I'm bonkers? I am, aren't I? But I'm getting old now, so I suppose I can be forgiven for that, can't I? Anyway, that was what I got today that tipped me over the edge. So, I've decided, I'll show you what I have. I have done some crafting and I will show it to you. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a list of things that I want to make that's priority. So, I've got Katie's, Katie's Mittens which are the Bifeld mittens by Amy Loudon and I'm halfway through the first mitten and I have spoken to her today and she said mum please don't stress, stress over mittens I mean they live in the south and it's almost spring there so she's not going to use them so she said it doesn't matter if I don't get them till autumn this year so that makes me feel a little bit better but I do want to get them off the needles so I've got the bi bi Bifeld mittens I've got my socks that I want to make with that new sock yarn I showed to you um, I've got my cabin girl to finish off I've got my bedtime teddy to finish off I want to start my um, what do I want to start my Persian tile blanket oh the list is endless and I've got that to do that Karen gave me the fabric for to make me and Karen it's not that much when you think about it but yeah I feel a little bit overwhelmed so we're going to get sorted tomorrow so I'm going to make a list I'm going to make myself, um, like I say, a list of priorities, the ones that I want to do first and the less um, that's, what's the word I'm looking for? Urgent or important. They're all important because I love them all. I mean, if Tim could hear me talking, he laughs at me. He says, I don't know you can get stressed about things that you make. It's your hobby. Why do you get stressed? But us crafters do. Anyway, I've waffled on enough about that. Um, let me show you how far I got on Cabin Girl last night. So last night I made Cabin Girl's sweater. Now it's a bit funny at the top here. It doesn't really fit like it should. I don't think it does. And her sleeves are a lot shorter than they should be. I think there should have been about another seven rows on it but I'd run out I don't know if you can see the lighting's really bad at the moment because it's dark now it's night time well it's not it's, I think it's tea time we've not eaten yet so yeah it's around about tea time but I don't know if you can see can you see the bits of sparkle in it so this is the um let me tell you what it's called and I only had one ball of that I had it in in um stash that one and I decided to use it instead of the two grey that came with the kit but I didn't realise it wouldn't be enough I can't remember what it's called sparkle let me see if I can find the label oh no it just says sil festive silver I think it is something like that anyway I didn't have enough to do the arms all the way down to where so her arms are a little bit shorter than they should be but I don't mind I don't mind and I did this little bit of detail on the bottom in the sapphire um so I did a sweater I did that little bit of detail on the pants and then um I haven't done any crafting today because uh, like I said I've been really busy in my craft room sewing and sorting out and then I've just started a hat which to me looked a bit big but if you look on the pattern it does look big so I've started a hat so I'm hoping to finish a hat tonight and I might even get on to doing a slip as I don't know um but yeah I'm pleased with it just a bit sorry that the arms the you know the sleeves on the arms aren't long enough but let's face it we've had problems with these hands and arms haven't we so it is what it is and I'm sure she'll be fine when she's finished so that's how far I've got on that and that's all I've done really as far as crafting goes 
but I don't know if you remember, um, yesterday I said that I'd ordered some new things for the shop and Tim's put them together for me. Oh, I absolutely love them. Me personally, might not be everybody's cup of tea, but he has made me. Oh, I love it. So we ordered these. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Acorns. Um, then these, I think these look better on the same side. Tim's put them on one side and I think they look better together like that on the same side so there's um an acorn with two stitch markers or progress keepers you can't see very well you'll see better when i take pictures of it for the shop and then it's on um a carabiner or um what do you call them not a carabiner is it a carabiner lobster claw clip and then it undoes, it unfastens, it screws off. And then inside, oh, I have put you six roped stitch markers, solid stitch markers. Oh, I don't know why I got this. I've seen these. Oh dear, I'm fingers and thumbs. I've seen these acorns a few times and thought, I wonder what I could do with them. I wonder what I could make for everybody with one of them. So I think them are fabulous and they're great to hang on your bag and it's nice decoration, isn't it? So yeah, so I've only got two in the shop because Tim's made one and I'm having one. Of course I'm having one. I've got to try them out for you, my customers, haven't I? <laughs> that's my excuse anyway so yeah we've got two of them um so i've got a lot of shop updating to do um and i've got a couple more of um stitch markers that's arrived and one thing and another um and that's it that's it for today i feel like i've waffled on what 11 minutes that's not bad it isn't for me is it i feel like i've waffled on but really that's what kind of day it's been today it's been in the fast lane all day um yeah and now i need to go and get some dinner i need to go and uh get some dinner the dog needs a bath so i'm going to bath the dog this evening and then i'm going to put some nice comfort pajamas on and i'm going to finish off cabin girl's hat and then i'm going to sit down and i'm going to make lists and i'm going to get everything what i've decided is i'm going to get everything ready put it in a bag like i've done with my persian tiles i'm going to decide what colors i'm doing my chicken in i am doing my emotional chicken i'm going to decide what colors i'm doing that in i want to cast on my socks before i go to katie's so i'm hoping to do that um i want to cut out those squares anyway i'm going to make a list and i'm going to make sure i do it so I will be back. It might be a bit of a longer one tomorrow because we might spend some time in the craft room. What do you think? You might be able to, I might, you know, take you along with me when I'm doing a few things. Um, but for now, I'm going to go because I've got other things to do. Tea to make and, you know, dogs to bath and stuff like that. I hope you're all all right. Oh, let me tell you about the weather before I go. Rubbish today. Absolutely rubbish. Freezing cold, dull, overcast and windy. Yeah spring's gone for this week i don't think it's coming back again let's hope when i go to katie's on saturday it's nice i'm sure it will be it's always nicer in the south anyway i'm definitely going i shall be back and i shall see you tomorrow okay take care bye see you tomorrow bye